Hey guys, what's going on? So if you're a fan of the channel, you probably saw the old 89C rig we picked up to do a little bit of work on and have some fun this summer. Kind of picked it up as a project boat for the channel. Uh, one of the things I ran into with it is I don't have a garage to put it in and it has a wakeboard tower on it. I really didn't want to take the wakeboard tower off because you know our kids and stuff, they want to try a wakeboard and things like that. So I wanted to get a cover with the provision in it to cover the boat and protect it from the elements outside. So with that said, I reached out to Carver Boat Covers and they were nice enough to send us a boat cover to try out to see if it would work on our boat. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install it onto the boat. We got a uh, pull system too that'll prop up the boat cover to help the water run off of it and to keep it from puddling. This is a pretty nice system and uh, I'm gonna install it on the boat and you're gonna see what it's all about. Before I get started, what I'll do is in the description of the video, I'll put a link to the boat cover on their website. You can click on the link, shoot over to it, and see what they have for your boat. So when you order your boat cover, I'll show you what to expect. This is the box that it comes in. Here is the support strap system. A couple of pulleys, and here's the cover inside. So we have the support pole system installed in the boat, and this is what it looks like when it's installed. It was really simple to put together, it was just a couple of poles. I had a couple of extra poles. This should be the right height to, um, for my cover to allow the water not to pull up in this area. So you're gonna get four points where it fastens. So there's two in the rear, and there are two in the front. So what's nice about this boat cover is it also has like the straw string system that you can use to pull the cover tight. Okay, so I have the cover installed using just a ratchet strap system and uh, it's long enough to fit around the back of the swim decks. I have two swim decks on the back of my boat. So the cover goes over those and uh, keeps all the water and stuff off of those and debris. So what I'll do now is I'll install the tie-down kit. So you should put these tie-downs on when you're gonna trailer the boat. The cover is made to be trailerable and these tie-downs will help to keep the cover from moving around when you're going down the road or if you have it in storage and you wanna pull it a little more taut to keep the rainwater out. These tie-downs will help with that too. To install the tie-down kit, you're gonna go through the loop right here at the buckle on the top. You're gonna leave yourself about 12 inches you're gonna tie off the strap. You're gonna leave a little hanging. If your other buckle end isn't pre-installed on the strap and if they're loose in the bag for some reason, the instructions say to go through the top uh, opening like this, go around and through the bottom opening and pull it tight. You're gonna simply click the buckle together. So the instructions say to take Leave 12 inches of strap so you have something to grab onto for the next time. Cut it with a pair of scissors and then heat up the um, end with something like a little lighter or something like that just so it, it melts the end and uh, it's not all frayed. Don't light it on fire, you don't want to do that. You got to be careful when you're doing that. So I'm going to work my way around the rest of the boat, install the rest of the straps. I'll show you what it looks like. That's all you need to do. When you're done, this is how the straps should fit. It should be all buckled on like this. Tighten down like that. And you don't need to use every single loop, but I kind of did. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that was on there pretty good and kind of taut so that the rain would uh, roll off of it. And uh, fits good. We'll go around the other side, show you what the other side looks like. And here's the other side of the boat. Looks the same way, this cover fits really good. So once the cover is on, this is how it fits. It fits great. The front of the bow is nice and tight. Water should roll right off of it. The uh, straps really help to kind of tuck it down pretty good. Here's the cockpit area. Here are the swim decks out back. It was really easy to go around the wakeboard tile. The Velcro made it really easy to do. What I did too around the back is I 
shortened up one of those straps quite a bit. Went through the uh, loophole right there, put it down. They just kind of went around the motor and uh, it'll keep it in place. So this is a great fitting cover. It's easy to work with. It's easy to take off and on. The straps are super easy to put on as well. And uh, if it's sprayed around the wakeboard tile, it'll solve that problem for me. Remember, check out the um, link in the description of the video. Click on that, shoot over to the website, see what kind of covers are offered for your application. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. I will reply back to you. And thanks for watching, guys.